Hello everybody, Cody McIntyre here from Boss Poses 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use an image of uh, uh, as a stencil to get detailing onto your model. So, this is my Master Koga sculpt from uh, Tears of the Kingdom I plan on releasing here really soon. So, I plan on, uh, or what I want to do is get the detail from this mask onto my model. So, what I'm actually going to do is zoom in, and we're going to create a brush. So what I'm actually going to do is press N. I'm going to come down to where it says, or uh, you want to select your layer brush because we're going to be copying the properties of one of these brushes over. So in this case, I just want to use the layer brush because I don't want it to continuously adding detail and creating uh, uneven geometry. So we want to use this because we can use the persistent base on it and set a height for it. But just as an example, we're going to get right to it and show you how to make any uh, image or brush here. So we're going to get this mask right here. So what I'm going to do is select, with my layer brush selected over at the side, you're going to click tool. You're going to come down to you see this tab under advanced called texture. You're going to click new on the texture and then you're going to come over into this time. And then what you want to do is uh, come down into your texture panel. It'll be right below your material. You're going to click open and then you're going to find your image. So in this case, I got my master Koga. Um, this right here underneath your image in your brush settings will be set to tile. So what you actually want to do is click that and set it to stencil. And what you're going to notice is a stencil comes up. And if you press control and right click or control and click, you can move it. So in this case, I'm going to click shift. Just right click to move. And then I'm going to press shift again to, to scale it up and down. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of move this into position. So I'm going to make sure the model is straight. And I'm going to put the eye right about there. Hold shift, make it a little bigger. Okay. Now that we have our stencil lined up, anything that we start to paint will start to etch in this detail. So since I have a remesh on it, I might not need to use a dynamic topology. So just for instance, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn down the strength on the brush, and then I'm just going to start to paint. Notice that it's coming up very, very clear. I'm just going to go over it a bunch of times. And then what I'm actually going to do is just right click and pull it off. And after, if, if, as you see, we now have the eye on our master Koga and it looks really damn good. So what we can actually do is stretch that out a bit. So I can actually just hit back on the thing. And I can actually come down into where it says image aspect. I'm going to click that button right there. You can also reset the transformation. What this should do is narrow it out just like the image we see there. So now we can just line up our character with this character. The mask will be something like that. And now we can start painting in the detail once again now that we have it lined up. And you can do this for any uh, part of the, the image on your stencils. So we're going to do this for the belt as well. But as you see now, if I right click and I move it, we got a perfect Master Koga mask done right there. And I think that looks amazing. So what we're actually going to do is scroll down a bit. And what we're going to do is come down to where his belt is. We might need to get another image to do that. But I'm pretty sure it's just the eye of the Sheikah thing. So what we can actually do is just scale this up again. And then just paint the eye section. We can even go back in after and unsmoothen it. But as you see now, we got the eye on his belt. But the best part about that is, is we got some very, very clean detail, and that should look really good for 3D printing. So what we're actually going to do is uh, start doing the rest of the detail here, like the chest piece and all. As you see, the belt right here is that eye, but it's a little bit different. So I'm going to dig up a different image for that and uh, finish up the model, and you can find this on CG Trader on uh, Facebook.com slash BossPoses 3D. And I hope you like that tutorial on how to get some detail from an image onto your model. Have a good one.